हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अंकित जैन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल टेक जर्नी विद अंकित दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ अवर क्विक टेक सेशन वेयर वी विल बी बिल्डिंग द मूवी सर्च प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन एक्सपोज अवर प्रोजेक्ट ओवर द साइट्स एज ऑफ नाउ वी डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन सेट अप द कम्युनिकेशन इन बिटवीन द कम्पोनेट्स बाई यूजिंग द पेरेंट टू चाइल्ड कम्युनिकेशन बाई यूजिंग एट द रेट ए पी आई डेकोरेटर or by using the child to parent communication by using the custom event and how we can make the independent components communicate by using the message channel but as of now whatever we have done we have done inside the salesforce platform now we are taking the next step where we will be putting our component on the website so that anyone can perform the movie search by using the components that we have created so here i go before we go a quick intro about me i do have more than 10 years of experience in the salesforce ecosystem where we got an opportunity to work on the different clouds of the salesforce including the sales cloud service cloud cpq billing as well as on the financial services cloud i do have my technical expertise majorly on the lwc as well as on the integrations in case you folks likes to connect with me you can connect with me on the youtube linkedin as well as you can also join our telegram channel where we discussed all the queries So, what all different steps? What we have to follow to make our component available over the web? Let's try to decode one after the other. The first thing that we have to do here is we have to enable the digital experience in our org. Again, this is the one-time setup. In case it is already enabled in your org, you can definitely skip that step. So, to get that enabled, you have to navigate to the setup, and here you have to search for the digital experience. in my org also this setup is already enabled in case it is not enabled in your org you will get one check box to get that enabled you just have to check that check box and after that you will get all these different options available under the digital experience now the next step that you have to do here is you have to go and create the site to create the site again you have to navigate to the setup digital experience sites followed by the new so again i am under the digital experience only here i have to go and navigate to the all sites click on new to create the new site next to that we have to go and select the template here i am selecting the lwr template which will provide the unparalleled performance and also it do allow all the customizations as well so this component can be built or this lwr site can be built by using the lightning web components so that's what we will be doing so i am selecting this lwr template from here clicking on get started now here i go and put the name let me put the name here as movie search again you can give any name it's completely up to you okay and in the url although it is optional but it's better to give the url to identify your website so here i go and give the name again as movie search as i said you can give any name it's completely up to you so click on create as soon as you click on create based on the selected template the framework will create a website for you and it will give you the lots of tools to work on that website so let's hold for a minute for a website to get created now i am on the workspace page where i can go and build my website so here to build our website first you have to navigate to the builder part again let me navigate to the ppt here what we have to do here is we have given the site name also the next thing that we have to do here is here we have to extend the access of our site to the guest user guest user means user should not be log in inside our portal to perform the movie search right so for that we will be extending our access here to the guest user so to do that again what we have to do here is we have to navigate to the builder we have to go to the settings and in the general we do have the option to extend the access to the guest user so let's do that so again i am on side the builder i am navigating to the settings and here we do have the option to extend the access to the guest user so let's go and select that next what we have to do here is we have to relax the csp settings again to relax the csp settings we have to navigate to the builder settings and under the security and policy we do have the option to relax the csp settings so again i am clicking on the settings navigating to the security and policy and here we do have the option to relax the security settings so let me go and select that so that my security settings will be relaxed here now the next thing that we have to do here is we will go and adjust the layouts and add the component again before you go and add the component you have to make sure that your components are exposed to the community 
if case you guys are following the bootcamp we already have exposed our components both the movie search as well as the movie detail components to the community right in case you are not done that make sure that you are exposing your components to the experience builder as well so let's go and adjust the layout so to adjust the layout i am on the page structure from the page structure first let me go and delete this html editor from here so let here i go and delete the html editor and now we have to go and adjust this section so to adjust the section let me select the second column layout and here i am changing this layout to width to 7 by 5 you just have to drag it here and you can see here i am getting the seven uh, columns in the first section and five columns in the next section as we already discussed in our previous sessions we do have all our screen is always divided into the 12 columns so we have to make sure that here again the 7 plus 5 equal to 12 right now next thing we have to go and add the component again quite simple the way we add the components on the app builder we have to follow the exact same step so here i am dragging and dropping the movie search component in the first section and dragging and dropping the movie detail component in the another section so i do have both the components available the movie search as well as the movie detail component let's go and preview this to check how this is comes up so here you can see let me go and search for a movie here again i am looking for the batman you can see i am getting the expected result and if i go and select something i am getting the complete details about that movie as well so uh, as of now it is working all good now we have to go back and let me go this time to the slides again so we have adjusted the layout we have activated the component the next thing we have to do here is we have to activate the site here so to activate the site you have to navigate to the administration part here you have to go and activate the website again it will take some time as soon as the website is activated you will get an email from the salesforce that your website is activate so again i have activated my website here now if i go back again the next thing that we have to do here is after you have activated the website you have to publish the changes one key thing that i want you folks to take a note here is this is specifically for the lwr site whenever you are making any changes to your lwc component you have to again come back and publish your website unless and until you are not publishing the website the changes in the lwc will not be visible in your or will not be applicable in your site so you have to make sure that you should go and always publish the website again to publish the website i am navigating back to the builder from the administration and here we do have the option to publish the website so here i go and publish this site again salesforce will take some time to publish it as soon as it is published you will get an email confirmation from the salesforce again whatever the members that you do have in your community they all get this email notification okay my changes are published successfully i also got an email from the salesforce let me show you that email as well that email says that the site is published successfully you can see here and i can access my site from this link you can also get the link from here and the same link is also available under the administration section as well so you can take any of this link let me copy the link from here from the administration navigating to the incognito window to test my changes and let me go and click on enter right let's go and perform the search one more time so again i'm searching this time for a movie let me search for a movie called chuck the india you can see that we are getting this movie if i go and select this i am getting the complete details about that movie let me go and search this time for the series and here i am searching for the series as friends so if i go and select this let's see i can getting all the details about the friends as well this is what i do have folks in this mini project i hope you got some learning in this mini project and this project helps you to learn something new in case you folks like the session make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe the channel as well thank you have a good time bye bye